Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review the Deco X50-POE. I'll do my speed test range test using my iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra, which are my Wi-Fi 6E devices. And I'll use my OnePlus 11, which is my Wi-Fi 7 device. All of these are compatible with Wi-Fi 6. Now the cool thing about this is this POE standing for power over ethernet. So if you have a compatible POE switcher gateway, you can actually power this mesh system literally just using the ethernet cable coming from that compatible device. If you don't, you can't just use the power cables that come with this thing. Now, this can be ceiling mounted, wall mounted, or just placed on the tabletop. It has a speed rating of AX3000, and it supports internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. It's also a dual band system, and over here it does say it works with all Deco models. In fact, from what I remember, all Deco models work with all other Deco models. So if you have an XC75, for example, and you want to increase your coverage, you could get another XC75, or you could get a different Deco like this one and wall mount this and call it a day. Now, this is what a mesh system is. So it's two or more devices, in this case, three that work together to create a larger network to pretty much get rid of Wi-Fi dead zones. Now in this setup it looks like they are using a PoE switch to power on these things. Now again that is optional. So let's unbox this thing see what it comes with and get to all the testing. So here's a closer look at the shape, doesn't take up much space, circular in design, and this is the mount. So you basically just twist this, comes off, and you have all these designated letters. So depending on if you're going to do a ceiling or wall mount or a junction box or an outlet box, whether in the US or in Europe, so you have all these dedicated spots, which is kind of cool that you can uh, do that. And then when you're done, you just slide it in and click it. You, you heard that click at the end and boom, it's in, you're good to go. So I could take this off and we have our reset right there. We have our gigabit port right there, a 2.5 gigabit port there and a power cable. Now again, if you are using a PoE compatible switch with a PoE compatible ethernet cable, you don't actually need to run the power cable. So we get two more of those obviously and we get an ethernet cable see if it says if it's cat 5 e or cat 6 or anything else it does not say if i had to guess it's either going to be cat 5 e or cat 6 we get some instructions manual which are i mean usually the deco app itself pretty much tells you what to do we get some screws actually we get a whole bunch of screws we get some anchors as well we get another setup for a mounting guide so a whole bunch of stuff there a whole bunch of screws with some washers as well so a bunch of stuff and finally, we have the Deco power cable. Again, if you're not using the PoE switch, you would need to use this to provide power. It is 100 to 240 volts. The output is 12 volts at 1.5 amps, which means the wattage would be 18 watts. And we obviously have three of those. All right, guys. So I had a chance to play with this thing, set it up as my main match. Super easy to set up, no drops, nothing abnormal. Had a chance to do all my speed test, range tests, have all those numbers here. I'm like, make sure I'm not showing it upside down. So we're gonna jump straight in with the internet speed test. And as you guys already know, no matter how fast your mesh system is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds, unless of course, the limit itself is the router itself, which in my case this is, because my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, where this one, the fastest port is 2.5 gigabits. So as soon as I come into this thing, it actually caps my internet speeds. Now this one is a bit of a spe special case scenario, I guess you could say. So I tested this thing without a managed switch. So I just tested it with its own power ports, connecting it straight to my ONT, which is basically like a modem and uh, ran all my speed test range tests. So again, we'll go over those numbers, but real quick, if I actually set this up with a managed switch, and I ran power over ethernet to these things, not only can I power this stuff, but I can actually run my managed switch directly to my computer and not be slowed down. So let's just say if I got a faster managed switch, something that can handle five gig internet speeds, I can actually go from my ONT to my managed switch, not unmanaged, but managed switch. And then from there, I can actually go straight to my computer and then for the Wi-Fi stuff, I can go here. And this is kind of really the point of this mesh system where that's the ideal solution. However, you don't need to set it up that way. So if you just like this thing because 
You could pretty much wall mount it. It looks really nice. It blends right in. You could actually use this without a managed switch like I did. With my internet speed test with my Wi-Fi devices, it's definitely a lot slower as what you would expect. So the download speed was, I mean, I'm still getting absurdly fast speeds, but it's a lot slower than the 2.5s that it can go up to again, but I've never seen anything go that fast on Wi-Fi 6. So still got some solid numbers. And then really to do a true speed test on this thing, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi, I'm like looking for a, like a phone or whatever. I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired or wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one and then goes to the computer. And that way I isolate this thing. So I'm not relying on my ISP, my internet service provider, nor the public speed test server, which can be busy at times. So looking at these tests, we can definitely see an improvement in speed, um, especially in the download section. So overall, for the most part, improved speeds. And then if we look at wired backhaul, you'll notice that it's just under gigabit speeds. And again, the reason is because you have one 2.5 gigabit port and then the, the port coming out is actually capped to gigabit speeds. So when I go from one of these to the second one, it's actually capping those speeds and that's why I got just under gig speeds for that. And then wireless backhaul. So because this is a dual band system, meaning it only has two frequencies, a 2.4 and a five gigahertz, dual band systems typically are not that great for wireless backhaul. I mean, these speeds aren't bad. Um, they're actually not too bad considering it's a dual band system, but if I was relying solely on wireless backhaul, I typically prefer to get tri-band or even quad-band systems that deliver better performance. Like, for instance, the Deco BE63 that I recently reviewed, that thing is an absolute beast when it comes to wireless backhaul speeds. But nonetheless, this thing still did fine. Now we get into range tests. So range will vary vastly by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers and walls around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. Essentially more obstructions, less range, typically speaking. Now with this one, 20 feet inside my place, I'm still getting very solid speeds. At 50 feet, I'm outside, still getting really, really good speeds. And at 100 feet, I'm across the street and still getting some solid numbers. Now, this can go past 100 feet, but as of a month or two months ago, I started capping my internet speeds to 100 feet. This can certainly go farther than that, but I wanna get the point across that this is pretty much gonna work in typical front yards and backyards. So if you get the system, you can expect it to work there. Again, assuming you know you don't have crazy thick walls or a crazy setup or in a building and stuff like that, because everything, more obstructions, less range. Now for setup and configuration, use the Deco app. It's actually one of my favorite apps because it's so clean and easy to use and it's just very clear when you're using it. So when you're setting it up, it tells you what to connect where. It tells you to pick your Wi-Fi name and password. If you want, you can pick the same Wi-Fi name and password as the router you're placing and all your devices will automatically connect to this new one. Assuming your Wi-Fi name and password, you typed it in both case sensitive. So exactly the same, like literally verbatim and they're both SSID, which is the Wi-Fi name and the password are both case sensitive. Now, you can also set up a guest Wi-Fi with this. You can also set up an internet of things Wi-Fi and IOT Wi-Fi for your you know, smart home devices like your cameras or your smart home switches and things like that. Um, and then you get VPN options with this thing. So there's some customizations there. You also get some parental controls included. They do offer more advanced parental controls where you get more control and stuff over it but that does require a separate subscription. But without the subscription, you still get a decent amount of control uh, for the parental control. So overall, very clean, very organized, and it just works very well. You can also use this as an access, in access point mode as well. So it's, it's just an overall very nice, clean interface. Now we get to who is this for and why, and this one is a little bit of a unique situation. So. Right off the bat, if you have internet speeds of up to gigabit and you're running wired backhaul, this is amazing for that, even without a managed switch. Um, and this can, again, handle internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits without a managed switch. So just literally your modem and this, and you're good to go, or your ONT or DSL, whatever you're using for your internet source. 
If you go with the managed switch route, again, you can get a managed switch that can go even faster, assuming you have faster internet speeds like me that I have five gigabits, you might have 10 gigabits, depending on your internet speeds, basically. Um, you can go that route where you set up your managed switch that connects your own to your modem, and then the fast stuff can be on ethernet, and then you can, and if it's PoE, it supports power of ethernet, you can actually, it's, it's very clean, because you can like basically hide this in plain sight. It looks really nice. It's not obstructive. And if you're running literally one ethernet cord to this thing that's kind of mounted on the wall like this or on the ceiling, I mean, it's just, it's just clean, especially if it's on the ceiling. It's not even noticeable that you have Wi-Fi. So it's, so from that, like aesthetically pleasing hides in plain sight, it's, it's honestly fantastic for that. But if you're looking for an absolute beast of a system, um, you know, like then I've reviewed some of the Wi-Fi 7 ones, like the Deco B63 is an absolute beast with amazing wireless backhaul speeds. Uh, the Deco B85 is even better. So there are obviously better systems than this, but this is kind of, again, it's really designed to hide in plain sight. You don't need to mount this either. You could obviously put it on the tabletop as well. Uh, so it really just depends on your situation. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I have way more router reviews, mesh Wi-Fi comparisons, all that stuff coming. And I've already done a whole bunch of other videos on this stuff, constantly doing it. Thank you guys for all the support. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. So again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.